Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where today's video is very special to me because I have been meaning to make this video since the beginning of my channel. Now, Slimy Creeper, what is this video exactly? Well, I'm glad you asked because this is the vending machine with item sorting. Woohoo! Now, before we get into the, tutor the tutorial, I just want to show you how it works. So first, the first thing you want to do is get yourself some payment. This payment could be whatever you want, depending on whatever you set it as for your vending machine that I will soon show you how to make. So what you want to do is, for me, it's gold. You just want to drop it into this hopper right here. And you'll see a light flash, meaning your item has been dispensed. And in here, for me, the item that you have dispensed is a gold carrot. Well, this is the same exact thing as my other vending machine zombie creeper. Well, here's the fun part. It's item sorting. Meaning that, say I try tricking the system, I'm like, oh, I want a gold carrot, but don't want to play, pay one piece of gold. I could just throw in a grass block. But you won't hear a piston move. Neither will you hear, neither will you see this light turn on. Oh, did you hear a piston? Let's check it here, there's nothing in here. It refunds it to you. So I get my grass block back, even though, and I'm like, dang it, it doesn't work like that. So the only thing it can take is gold. So that is the great thing about this vending machine and that's what makes it different from my other one and if you want to you can come down here and here is the form and here is how you collect the payment from the vending machine you just go down here and you will see the money that you have put into the vending machine back right here so you've seen how it works and now let's get on straight to the tutorial so, here are the items you will be needing for this vending machine. You are going to need two chests, two trap chests, four signs, any wood type is fine, five redstone comparators, six redstone repeaters, 15 redstone dust, two lamps, four water buckets, or just water source blocks, one soul sand, eight blocks, it doesn't matter what type, it could be any type of block, it could be, so for this item, you'll see four gla blue glass pla panes, but it just says a bunch of gibberish, well, you are going to want to get a random item and name it for, name it the most random thing you could name it the most unguessable thing you could name it. You'll see why this is important later. Four droppers, one dispenser, four of any slabs you please, three of any stairs you please, two of any glass block you please, 42 of any payment you please, or any payment you want it to take, three um, redstone blocks, 20 hoppers, four sticky pistons, a redstone torch, and nine stacks of any like items you want to dispense, like when you buy it, what you want to sell. And three ladders, and finally, an oak trap door. Now this is not necessary, but a pickaxe may help to make the whole process faster. So the first thing you want to do is build the chassis for the vending machine. So what you want to do first is start off by building one, two, three blocks up, another one, two, three blocks up with the any block you please. Next you're going to want to place a stair here, facing this direction and looking down. And then you're going to want to build another one, two blocks up and you are going to want to get a red, your redstone lamps and you're going to want to dig down one and place two up and then finally of course you are going to want to play, 
build one two up with that any glass type you like and you're gonna wanna go cover the top with the slabs and now you have built the outside of the vending machine alright so the next step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dig two down and you're going to want to build and you're going to want to place a repeater facing that way against that block then crouch and place a repeater or sorry a hopper facing that way so now you should check and there should be a hopper with the little like dropping mechanism pointing this way and another dropper pointing towards the wall next thing or hopper next thing you want to do is you're going to want to put another hopper facing that way and now two of them the dispensing mechanism should look like they're both facing this way all right so next step what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to already place a hopper facing that way one more time and make sure the mechanism thingy is facing that way like the other ones and then finally you're going to want to place a block here like so and you're going to want to place a hopper going into that block next what you're going to want to do is go underneath that block and place a hopper facing into that block you're going to want to break the space right there all right so it's already time to build the item sorter so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place a piston you're going to want to break all these blocks and place a piston right here and you're going to want to replace the block that this that's above this hopper right here next what you're going to want to do is get a comparator and face it this way and you're going to want to break the blocks above the block that the comparator is going into you're going to want to do this twice and then once you get to the third time you're going to want to come down here and break all these blocks underneath here next you're going to want to place a piston with a redstone block at the end and you're going to want to place redstone on top of these three blocks that still remain so next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get those like weird named items and put them in here like so and make sure all four are facing this way make sure it's not more than four and there's only one in each spot and then you're wanna you're gonna want to get your 42 of any payment make sure it is not named because then the payment will not work this is just an example and you'll hear a piston fire and then you'll see in here now there's one gold in here and only 41 in this hopper and that means you have done it right so just one more look at the item sorter and this item sorter is not my own design this is actually made by the bowtie man go check out his channel I will link the video to this item sorter in the description all right so the next step is you're gonna want to come from the item sorter and you're gonna see the hopper facing this way and all that underneath that hopper you're gonna see the block and the other hopper facing that way go one block under and go straight forward and then go up one block and then another and then you should see this it is you are underneath those three hoppers that I told you to face this way and next what you're gonna all you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna replace these blocks and go into like this little crevice right here and just place a hopper facing down like so next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get your two chests or not the trap chest Make sure they're the chests and not the trap chests. And you're going to want to place one facing this way. And another one that come back down here. And another one right next to it facing this way. Or this way. So now this one should be facing to the right 
and this one should be facing forward from back here. Next, you're gonna wanna cover this up and make sure that this block is broken again. I accidentally did replace it, but just then again, make sure that the block is broken. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna place a hopper going into this chest like so, and again, the little dispensing mechanism should look like it is facing into the chest. Now, we are almost done, but first, we have to take care of the refund system and the payment system. All right, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is come back onto the outside, and you're gonna wanna count one, two blocks away, and you're gonna wanna place a chest right there. Make sure the chest is actually a trap chest and not a normal chest. So you're going to want to place the trap chest right here. And next you're going to want to get your dropper and you're going to want to get the dropper and place it like so. Facing up. Or facing up. Like so. So if you break the chest you'll see that it looks like the mouth is right here and is dispensing to the trap chest. Underneath that, you're gonna wanna dig one block out and you're gonna wanna dig two down and you're gonna wanna place a redstone block there and remove this part underneath the dropper. And again, you are going to want to get a piston now and you're gonna wanna dig three blocks down or two blocks down from the redstone block. You're gonna wanna place it facing up and you're gonna wanna get another dropper that is looking up again. And inside the dropper you're gonna wanna place the end, the items that you want to sell into it until it is filled to the max. Next what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come over here and place a comparator going out of the dropper. And what you're gonna wanna do is place a repeater next to it and place some redstone looping all the way around until you reach a point up here where you have to go a block up. And this is important now. So, actually I made a mistake. You're gonna wanna go one more block out this way. And you're gonna wanna go that one block extra right here. And let me just patch this up real quick. And finally, you're gonna wanna break the block right here. And you should be able to see the hopper is right behind it. And next, what you're gonna wanna do is replace the block right here and go from around and place your redstone torch right here. And this should power on the light. But because there are items in the disp because there are items in the dropper, it shouldn't. But if there weren't the lights would turn on. So you could test this out by taking out all the items. I won't show it just for content reasons and you're gonna want to patch this all up again like so. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is actually dig down here. You're gonna wanna dig all the way down until you have met the piston. And there's a beautiful cave noise playing in the background and you're gonna wanna place a block here and a compare and a redstone comparator like so it's not letting me place it because I'm on the block let's just do this and place the comparator like so next what you're gonna wanna do is get your redstone repeater and face it out set it for four ticks you could easily just do this by left clicking on it and you're gonna wanna place one piece of redstone going out of it. So now you have made the payment system and the detection system to make sure there's actually items to sell. And bonus, you've also made the system to tell you if your item has dispensed or not. So next, all you're gonna wanna do is cover it up 
make sure that you didn't mess with the ticks right and you just want to gonna cover it up like so beautifully all right so the next part is very simple you want to just mirror what you did oh you just want to mirror what you did over here and make sure again it is indeed a trap chest like so and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to put a hot or you're gonna want to place that dropper facing up make sure it's facing up because it could accidentally go to the side and you could check again make sure it is facing up and you're gonna want to get your redstone block your last redstone block it should be and you're gonna want to place it there and you're just gonna want to mirror what you did but just in case I'll just show you it again you're gonna want to place a sticky piston here facing up of course you don't want to place the or you're gonna want to place the sticky piston here you might just want to mirror that and then finally you want to place the dropper facing up now don't put anything in the dropper this time because this is in fact the refund system this is in fact the refund system that we are building and finally you just want to just cover up the evidence <laughs> all right for the next part you are going to want to go down this little area right here and you're going to want to go underneath this chest that has the hopper facing it not the one that has the payment mechanism now this is the refund mechanism this is the refund chest so what you're going to want to do is place a hopper facing down and you're going to want to place another hopper facing into a block or facing to the left and then you're just going to want to place another three facing to the left and you're going to want to go outside of this little cavern right here whatever you want to call it and you're going to want to go two to the side of this one two to the side and you're going to want to dig straight down five blocks so how you know if you dug straight down right is you're going to be able to see the piston that is here after that you just want to keep that there this is just so a mark when you come around you could dig up to make sure you have dug in the right spot and now you're going to want to place more hoppers going all the way out oh i guess there's a cave here but you're going to want to place hoppers going facing all the way out all the way to Oh, all the way to the piston that is that should be back here oh, that's a big area and make sure all the hoppers are facing this way and it should be aligned with the piston or right next to it one block or two blocks down all right so the next thing you're going to want to do is come out of this little hole again and go right out here so now you're going to want to dig another two blocks down like so oh. and what you want to do now is you want to dig straight this way and you should see the hoppers so next what you want to do once you see these hoppers is you want to go up here and you're gonna wanna actually break this hopper and you're gonna want to make it so it faces into this oh, into this block right here so now it should be facing into that block and now finally you could put a dispenser so your dispenser right here or right here and next what you're gonna want to do is just get the hoppers I'll go right here just for purposes so I can get back in and you're gonna want to hook them up all the way that way so make sure they are all facing into this dispenser next what you're gonna want to do is down here you're gonna want to place soul sand right here what you're gonna want to do here is I apologize for saying what you want to do so much 
so next you're going to want to put your redstone comparator here I don't know why I said it like that but and then redstone going out of it set a repeater for um, three ticks and then set a repeater for four ticks and then place a piece of redstone right here and you're just gonna want to make sure that you fill in these blocks or this block right here and this block right here so the water does not overflow and now you should have just like a tunnel going all the way out into this next way into the overworld next way you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to dig this way and you're gonna want to block off this again and even the block underneath it so just like so just like so and the block right here and you're just gonna want to put dirt right here and my bad for doing that and next this is where your water comes in handy so I'm just gonna use one well, so you're gonna but you're gonna have to use five actually my mistake on that behalf and you're going to want to have the item like so and now you're gonna want to get a hopper that is facing and I probably should have put the water last and you're gonna want to make sure the hopper and we're just gonna block off that water for now and you're gonna want to make sure that hopper is facing into the dispenser so now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna I don't know why I keep on saying that what you're gonna want to do but now you're just gonna place a comparator there and you're gonna want to place a repeater in front of the comparator and it goes three ticks again or it doesn't matter which order it is just three ticks for this side and you're gonna want to break here make sure it goes all the way down and then put a repeater here we'll set this one for four ticks then you place redstone here and you'll see the redstone is connecting don't worry once you place a block there so we'll just actually just replace that block and now it should not interfere with anything and it does uh, I don't know why um, uh, this is happening alright so I figured out the problem you're actually not supposed to face it this way I forgot I looked at the working vending machine and it's not supposed to be facing this mechanism is not supposed to be facing towards the vending machine it's actually supposed to be facing this way from the vending machine so if you don't get it it's just switched same thing just the comparator repeater two redstone dust one redstone repeater facing this way and finally the redstone going into the piston so now all you want to do is just cover all this up like so like this and you're gonna want to find the water source and make sure this block is all covered up like so make sure the water source can't escape any sort of way it just stays in this narrow pathway and all you're gonna want to do is just cover all that up and now you have your working vending machine so let's test it out hello editor zombie creeper here so here I'm gonna inform you that maybe when you ha when I accidentally showed you it facing the wrong way the mechanism over there it might have caused your payment to go in the chest so you might find some payment in the chest I already did I fixed it and I found some payment in the chest so what you're gonna want to do is just collect the payment from the chest collect the payment from inside this hopper over here the 
any payment and you're just gonna want to put it all back into the machine you should have 42 again if you don't you could just check if it might have accidentally dispensed something into the chest by checking the um, hopper again and it should have 41 if it doesn't check this hopper and check the chest for your payment anyway on to the showcasing all right so you could so now we are going to test out the vending machine so first we could test it out by the simplest way checking if the light works so here's your any payment or any and you can see the light is on indeed when there are no items in the chest you could just put even just one item in there you could just put just one item in there and it will still detect that there is an item in there only when it is empty it will say that it is truly empty so now that we've checked that time to check something else which is the payment system so let's see if it will give me my item and indeed the light has turned on and here is the any dispense golden carrot when I throw it down does it still have the name yeah it does but this is just as good as my other vending machine now for the real test will it know the difference between gold and this dirt block it doesn't have to be a dirt block you can test it with anything and you can see the piston does not fire the light does not turn on and you should hear a piston and the refund system does so now let's check if there's anything in the chest sorry um, the video kind of cut out but let's go back to this let's check if anything is in this chest and indeed there is nothing in the chest so this indeed does work and now it's time for the optional part of the video but I would recommend sticking around for because this could help your vending machine work better and for you to help you get the payment alright so this is the third time recording this part my video all of a sudden does not want to work but let's try this again so what you want to do is you want to dig down here until you see the chest and then you're going to want to dig it down this way and then to the left and now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your two stairs and you're going to or you're supposed to dig this way so next you're going to want to get your two stairs the extra two stairs that you still have you'll notice that you still have them and you're just going to want to cover this part up now you're going to want to dig down right here where you were at earlier and you're going to want to place your three ladders here um, please, work, please record anyway and you're going to want to place the trap door at the end so that is what the ladder the two extra stairs and the trap door were for, for. and now you're, and now this part is extra optional just to tell the people what they're getting so you could just tell them like like so this is just signs so just put like payments and put here you can even see that I'm typing it you could put here And then under that, you could put like a little arrow, or if we want, we could just go over here. I'm pretty sure there's something for that, like that. And then, like so, just want to get a V. And you could put like something like payment here, and you could put like re. Refund, and find you could put like 
payment or whatever like dispensed item and then you could put like light on and you could put I'm, I'm aware that this part of the video is very boring but you should put these signs just in case so people know light on equals like if they don't know what empty means like out of or -der. there we go and yeah that's the full tutorial on how to make your vending machine alright guys I put a lot of effort into this video this is probably the most effort I've put into a video yet I know it doesn't seem like much because I'm a small creator I haven't really made that many videos but it would mean the world to me if you subscribe I know it's very annoying when youtubers say this kind of stuff but I really did try my best to be as straightforward to not like sound like I'm repeating myself and just to make the video as clear as possible and also if you could like the video that would be nice I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned something new I'll catch you guys in the next one see you later